today topic is McCabe Thiele method problem based on determination a number of theoretical plates using McCabe Thiele method when equilibrium data is not given now let's see an example a liquid mixture is fed to a distillation column for separation purpose it has relative volatility of 2.5 the feed is a liquid at its the bubble point containing 50 mol percent of a the more volatile component that is component a is a desirable component the product or the distillate is to contain 95 mol percent of a and the residue is to contain 10 mol percent of a the reflux ratio is 2.5. Calculate the number of ideal plates required and the position of the feed plate. Now let's solve this example. To solve this example, we use McCabe Thiele method. As we know, in McCabe Thiele method, there is a stepwise procedure to calculate the number of theoretical plates or trays. So, the first step is, by material balance, evaluate the term, f, x, f, d, x, d, w, x, w. Now, as we know, x, f is, the mole fraction of a in the feed. Hence, xf is equal to mole percent of a divided by 100 so xf is equal to 50 divided by 100 which is equal to 0 0.5 similarly xd and xw can be calculated hence xd is equal to mole fraction of a in distillate so, xd is equal to 95 divided by 100, which is equal to 0 0.95. And, xw is equal to mole fraction of a in residue. So, xw is equal to 10 divided by 100, which is equal to 0 0.1. Now, second step is, draw equilibrium curve and diagonal with the help of xy data. But in this example, we don't have given xy data, that is equilibrium data. But we have given relative volatility. So using relation between y and x in terms of relative volatility, we can calculate xy data. So, in this example, we have given relative volatility, that is, alpha is equal to 2.5. As we know, the relation between y and x is y is equal to alpha into x divided by 1 plus alpha minus 1 into x. Now we will put alpha is equal to 2.5. So after solving, we get equation as y is equal to 2.5 into x divided by 1 plus 1.5 into x. Now let's assume x is equal to 0. So, we get, the corresponding value of y is equal to 0. Now let's assume x is equal to 0 0.1. So, we get, the corresponding value of y is equal to 0 0.217. So, similarly, for x is equal to 0 0.2, 0 0.3 up to 1 we can calculate corresponding values of y. These values of x and y showed in table. Using this xy data we can draw equilibrium curve. Now, to draw equilibrium curve, on x axis, x that is mole fraction of more volatile component in liquid phase is plotted. And, on y axis, y, that is mole fraction of more volatile component in vapor phase is plotted. Now let's draw equilibrium curve and diagonal. Now third step is, 
draw operating line of rectifying section. So as we know, equation of operating line of rectifying section is y is equal to r divided by r plus 1 into x plus xd divided by r plus 1. Where r divided by r plus 1 is slope and xd divided by r plus 1 is intercept. Now, in this example we have given reflex ratio that is r is equal to 2.5 and xd is equal to 0 0.95. So, slope is equal to 2.5 divided by 2.5 plus 1, which is equal to 0 0.714. And intercept is equal to 0 0.95 divided by 2.5 plus 1, which is equal to 0 0.271. Now using slope and intercept, we can draw operating line of rectifying section. For that, First we plot point x dx d, that is 0 0.95, 0 0.95 on diagonal. Now, measure intercept, which is equal to 0 0.271 on y-axis. Now, let's draw operating line of rectifying section. We can also use slope, which is equal to 0 0.714. To draw operating line of rectifying section. Now fourth step is, draw feed line. So as we know, equation of feed line is, y is equal to minus q divided by 1 minus q into x plus xf divided by 1 minus q. Where, minus q divided by 1 minus q is slope and xf divided by 1 minus q is intercept. Now, in this example we have given, feed is at bubble point. Hence q is equal to 1. So, slope is equal to, minus q divided by 1 minus q is equal to, minus 1 divided by, 1 minus 1, which is equal to, infinity. As we get, slope of feed line is equal to infinity. Hence we have to draw feed line that is Q line parallel to Y axis. For that, first we plot point XF XF that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 on diagonal. Now, as slope is equal to infinity, we draw feed line parallel to Y axis from point XF XF. Now the fifth step is, draw an operating line of stripping section. As in this graph we get, the intersection point between the feed line, and operating line of rectifying section. So, there is no need to find the slope and intercept of the operating line of the stripping section. So to draw an operating line of stripping section. First we plot point x w x w, that is, 0 0.1 0 0.1, on diagonal. Now, draw an operating line of stripping section, from x w x w, which is passing through the point of intersection, of the feed line and operating line of rectifying section. So in this way, we get, an operating line of rectifying section, stripping section, and feed line. Now next step is, construct the triangle, from x d x d, between equilibrium curve and operating line of rectifying section and stripping section. Till we reach, or cross the point x w x w. So to construct the triangle, in the area between the equilibrium curve and operating line of rectifying and stripping section. We draw a horizontal line from x d x d up to the equilibrium curve. And a vertical line from the equilibrium curve to operating line of rectifying section. This will continue, till we reach or cross the point x w x w. Now, count the triangle between xd to xw.
as we know each triangle represents the number of trays. So, in this graph we get 9 triangle. Hence, the number of trays or ideal plates including the reboiler is equal to n, which is equal to 9. Hence, the number of trays is equal to n minus 1, is equal to 9 minus 1, which is equal to 8. Hence, in this example, number of ideal plates required is equal to 8. Now, next step is to find the position of the feed plate. As we can see that, the point of intersection of operating line of rectifying section and stripping section is lies on the fifth triangle. Hence the position of the feed plate is fifth from the top. Hence in this example, we get number of ideal plates is equal to 8. And the position of the feed plate is fifth from the top. So in this way, we can calculate the number of ideal plates using McCabe Thiele method and the position of the feed line. If you like my video, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends.